So, and that's uh, how the whole thing happened. But yeah, he was really, really pissed. Who? Oh! Hey, Sandy, guess what? We are live. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so then, yeah. Um, hello, everybody. We are live from the Studio Comics Press Central. Um, we have a really, really busy Sandy doing stuff right there. Look at him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he just lost his cookies. Uh, yeah, it was uh, really fun. So we have a bunch of different stuff that we are gonna be um, we're gonna be showing you today. Sandy, you wanna join? Yes. Okay. Sandy is joining to the live chat today. Um, of course, if you have any questions, comments, um, whatever you want to. Um, uh, let us know. Uh, you are more than welcome to do it on them um, Right here in the comments down below. We're gonna be live for a few minutes. I mean, it's not gonna be a long um, uh, live uh, uh, Transmission, but of course we're gonna have a bunch of different uh, new uh, new stuff that we have right here and um, Yeah, so then this weekend we had a um, this weekend. I went to um, Hamilton Comic Con. Fantastic show! I mean, um, uh, the guys that they do uh, they, they run the show. Uh, Sandy with us. Ta -da. What do you? I gotta make my hair right. My hair's a mess. <laughs> so Hamilton this weekend. Yay! So well, last weekend. Yeah. Right? So last weekend it was fun. Um, Apparently, there was a lot of people. They were playing museum for the second year. Uh, did the um, the, the show? Uh, so it looks. I mean, it, it was nice. It was a nice show. Nice setup. Who was there? Um, Robin, Bert, Bert Ward. Oh yeah, it was fine. A um, lot of uh, resting people. Mm -hmm. um, they had the Batmobile. Oh, just across from me was um, the guy from the Crow. Um, his name there's only one guy I know from the crow and he wasn't there no I mean no no, no the no the actor the, the guy who created the crow the, the oh, guy okay. who, who, who drew the crow uh, ouch I can't think of his name <laughs> you know me neither and, and, and he was just across mm, from, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from us um, it was a really good uh, uh, weekend though I mean it, it was uh, it was a really good weekend it was uh, quite fun in the sense of like um, we have a lot of uh, a lot of people walking by um, a lot of um, people returning, loving the stuff. What was what was the first year that you went to Hamilton? The first year, like five years ago. And how many? How how does this one compare to five years ago? I think that it had it has grown. Yeah. It has grown. I mean, like obviously the show has uh, seen some changes throughout yeah. five years. Um, the main one I think that was the location, eh? because they start the um, the show. They started at um, the. Um, uh, they started the show at uh, the convention center on Hamilton. Yeah, and then from there they moved to now for the second year at the War Plane Museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it seems like the setup it, it looks it looks funny. They have a funny setup. Yeah, uh, it works good. I mean, it wasn't like over like the, the the good the good thing that I can see on this case for for the show is that um, they didn't have like this huge. 300, 400 artists alley type of thing. So mm -hmm. you have a really, call it small, yeah, artists alley. But um, but there was good people there. Right? Yeah. There was really good guys. Um, the guest, oh, Greg Highland was there. Oh yeah, yeah. Greg Highland was there. Really nice uh, guy to chat. I mean, of course he's uh, creator of lethargic, lethargic, <laughs> lethargic lad, lethargic lad. And um, you guys like, it's always fun to chat with him. Uh, yeah. uh, Richard Comley was there too. Um, this guy from the crawl that I cannot remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So bad. If you can remember the, his name, then Facebook has. Yeah, no, we we'll just put on comment. the comments right here. I yeah. can see the line. Just put on the comments and then I can say. But, anyways, so that was. And then the main thing, uh, what, what happened on the weekend is that um, I got the chance to chat with some of the comic book creators are really excited about the whole uh, storefront the one that we have right here uh, uh, putting together uh, all the co like independent comics so um, yeah it's 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 good I mean there's there's is there any other place 
There's no other place in Ontario that just specializes in independent comics, right? I don't think so. I think that we are the first and yeah. the only ones right now uh, that we are do specializing on independent material for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like it's good to 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 have stores that they specialize on Marvel, DC. That they have that you can go over there and do your um, subscriptions. You know, like hey, they have a new Spider-Man Homecoming type of thing. I haven't even watched movie. <laughs> and I mean, even though like even even some of the stores where they have okay, here's the section for most of them, a lot of them similar. Where here's the wall that it has okay, there's all the Marvel and DC stuff, mm -hmm. and then here's some stuff we have beyond glass. The you know. Golden Age sort of expensive stuff, and then sure they might have a section for independent comics. It's what Fantagraphics, Dark Horse, Drawn Quarterly. I think that's you know what I mean, like three yeah. or four, and they're they're yeah. they're. I mean these guys these guys take almost as much market share as Marvel does these days, you know, yeah. like yeah. So these you know this is uh, these are actually truly independent comics. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, uh, we're, we're fortunate that uh, even though that uh, we have so many independent comics, we are getting a good response from, uh, and I'm really happy, and it's all thanks to you guys, that uh, we have um, so many uh, independent, in, truly independent comic book artists come and say like, yes, I want to put my books for sale right at the front. And then you guys, of course, you as independents, you will get the actual space Anytime, right? So we'll you don't have to like come here and uh, with a long speech of uh, <laughs> just hey, show up. There you go. Because so far um, we've been open less than a month. Yes. And so far we've had hey last week Stephanie yeah, last week last week last week it was so much fun. <laughs> Stephanie was here. Yes, Stephanie Stephanie Lean Stephanie Lee, Lean Lee no Lee 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 L E I N yeah 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 Stephanie Stephanie from Shelley. <coughs> Shelly. Shelly is on the works. Yeah, it was a good comic. I liked it. I read yeah, it. it was good. Nice. Yeah. And uh, we also had... Uh, Sam. Sam Noir. Sam. Yeah. He dropped off a bunch of his uh, kids' comics in the, st in the front, and that's really nice, too. Yep. Sam. And um, then we also had uh, William Byrne. I remember his name. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that, that was this week. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait that was this week. Don't spoil, don't spoil oh, okay. the surprise. Don't spoil this week. <laughs> And, but then uh, last week we have Gerhard too. He also had Gerhard and Dave Sim. And Dave, Sim. And Dave, Sim. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Sim, who's rarely seen out in the wild. Yes. Uh, so he actually, he actually swung by. So you had yeah. both of them. Yeah. Um, a bunch of uh, we have a bunch of uh, another uh, artists that they send us the the, the job uh, last week, right? So oh, what is this? And we've already printed. Um, I'm live. I cannot answer. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, we've already printed, we printed uh, the first issue of Shelley. We printed... Um, oh, we have uh, uh, the Beaver, Beaver Dam. Be Beaver Dam. Beaver Dam. Yeah. With multiple, uh, um, multiple covers. covers. Yeah. And now we're going to print uh, Gladiosaurus. Well, no, Gladiosaurus is already printed. Well, it's, it's cut away, so then it's right. almost done. So, and then we have another... Oh, yeah, yeah, see, well... Sam Noir with the, the main thing that we're working last week with uh, Sam was uh, Seed, Seed Primer. But anyway, so this is some of the stuff that we have. So there you go. This is for the storefront slash this is what we have here, the, some that we produce here. So we have, of course, fantastic H.A. Hand, Beaver Dam. I know, you guys, that the image looks backwards, but the reason why is because we're doing a selfie type of thing on the camera, and then that's what it looks like. But yeah, you can so, figure it out. Beaver Gale. <laughs> Damn. And then there's also variant covers. Signed by the one and only H.A. Hand. We have two covers right here. They're going to the storefront, Sandy. Yay. Which one is this one? And this is the tattoo. The tattoo special. Special. Yeah. That's fantastic, though. This is this is a good book. It is a good book. It looks great. It looks, the art is fantastic. Oh, nice. This one right here. This is another... Uh, Variant cover, also signed by Mr. Shea. Uh, Shea, I mean, like, look at this guy. So this is Shea's collection of Bieber Dams. Damn. So yeah, come and pick up your copy right here. We have signed copies by the one and only Shea. But then, on uh, Hamilton Comic Con this weekend, I have the chance to talk to one really good friend of uh, mine, and um, 
he's a fantastic artist. I see him uh, go from uh, his, uh, uh, he, he, it goes back to five years ago, I think we're chatting about that, five years ago when he was printing his very first book in uh, company with uh, another artist, Dan Hammond. But um, I see his work going, uh, let's, I think it starts right here. Number zero. Number zero. That might, that might be my favorite cover of the, of the week. Really? Yeah. The cover, cover of the week? I mean, co cover of the week. Cover, Sandeep? Sandy Badwell's cover of, of the week. week. Hell, number, <laughs> H-E-L-L, number zero. Our work is great, though. I mean, yeah. he, 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 he does uh, fantastic. I mean, this is uh, Dan Hammond and Dustin, Dustin Kruger, Crocker. I'm always like have problems with last names, so there you go. So this is what we have right here. Uh, Chris Chris Channel from uh, Red Rock, Rocket Comics, good friend of mine, also says I need some Bieber down. <laughs> he has not said it properly once. No, <laughs> not once. Said it about a hundred times in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> so yes, you can have. Um, you can have a, 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 a Bieber, Bieber, Dam, Bieber Dam delivered to you, or come pick up your copies. There's a few copies. I have just two copies signed by him. But yeah, we're talking about right now, Dustin with Hell. So this is a really nice copy. We have extra copies of number zero. They are under the brand Gilbert um, Comics. So yeah, we have extra copies. They are signed as well. Come and pick up your copy. Independent comics. Woo! Look at this. Ah, it smells no. new. It smells nice. It smells like mylar. Yeah, that's what it is. It smells like pure plastic. And of course, we do have number one. I guess what kids? It's also sign. You can get the fancy sign, or you can get the very, very, very fancy sign. Look at this. Woo! There you go, you see? Now come and pick up Dustin Crocker's Hell collection so far. Number zero, number one. And and um, yeah, so we have extra copies right here. So what else do we have here? Let's see. I mean, let's see what's going on on the, let's see what's going on on the chat. I mean, I'm sorry if I cannot uh, answer right away uh, the thing. If you want to send me a message, just make sure to send me a message. Uh, through the text. I don't know if they show Sometimes they show up right here on the it's a, the, the likes show up. You get a little thumb. I a thumbs up. Do we have a like? I don't think we so have any we likes. We got, I thought we got one. Oh, we got two likes. likes. Two likes. Oh, look at wow. that. Wow. You're taking over Facebook in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. We have... Reaper Core. Reaper Corpse. Core. Corpse, man. No, it's an S. I know, but this P is silent. It's pronounced core. Uh, Reaper core. Reaper, Reaper like the Corp. Army Corps. Ah. It's the Army Corp. See? Marine Corp. No, it's Marine Corps. Yeah. Jeff Graham. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, get a chance to get some extra copies right here. Um, they're also signed as well. Amazing story. Um, I love it. It's like uh, the, the artwork on this one, of course, is really, really good. Um, uh, Dork Empire Inc. is the um, is the press is the, the the brand that he's working on when uh, he's putting together uh, Reaper Core. Um, Jeff Graham, we have extra copies of Jeff Jeff Graham's Reaper Core. Um, I love this book. I mean, this is uh, an, again this is one of uh, really good uh, guys that they've been working on the, this book for quite some time. So it's doing really good top-notch quality as well um, don't forget to pick it up they're gonna be at the front again at the front at the storefront and <coughs> then he also works with this uh, I, I, I don't know how old this series may uh, anyways agent wild in a world where agents are not wild anymore <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my this is the tie either a tie or number two for cover of the week. I think this one was awesome too. This is the variant cover for Asian Wild number zero. Mm -hmm. But yeah, look at that. The Super Pro, man. It looks awesome. It looks fantastic. And yeah, it's backwards, I know. Yeah. Deal with it. He's actually left-handed. <laughs> and uh, these copies, I think that we don't have any signed copies uh, of these uh, comics. 
aging well. Um, however, um, it's still good. It's still still really good. I mean, like maybe we can bring uh, Jeff uh, Graham here. So we have Barring cover and original color. Okay, we have some few copies. You kids, you gotta come down and pick up your copies. And now this is a special one. Um, a really good friend of mine. He specializes in horror, um, horror the illustration. He goes by the name of Steve McGuinness, and he 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 always gives you the thing like the. I don't know how to do it. He, something like that. So like a evil, yeah. evil mad face. Evil, evil mad face, like. <laughs> so, but he's really good at it, and it's, it's a classic. So, I got. Um, uh, we have right here at uh, the store, the Harvester. The Harvester. Oh, we're doing backwards. Rise of the Harvester, book one and book two. Beautiful, B U T F U, with a B, on top. These ones. Um, of course, the written and illustrated by him. They are published, of course, not by Studio Comics, um, but uh, they are really, really nice books. Uh, we have a couple copies right here available at the shop. So, yeah, make sure to come and pick it up. The Harvester Horror, especially right now, that comes then. You know, the Coming time. up on Halloween. Halloween. So you can get one of a uh, nice Halloween reading from Mr. Sk Steve McGinnis. I know that he does some really good. <laughs> He's good at it too. <laughs> okay, then we have, of course. What's that? Uh, that looks really good, huh? <laughs> What's this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's backwards too. So that's Ardbar Comics number one. Ardbar Comics number one. Bat Bark number one. Beauty. Strange Serp. You know what? I think. I think we might be able to get one of the writers live right now. Want me to see if I can get him? Let me see if I can Who get him. Hang on a second. second. Let's see if I can get The writer of Service in Hell, it's going to be right with us. <laughs> can you sign my book? Please do not engage <laughs> Mr. Atwal. <laughs> can, can I take a photo with you? No, sir? please do not engage Mr. Atwal. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm out. What about my book? <laughs> Man, that was amazing. He was the writer. Right here. He was right here. Right here. Yes. Yeah, that's incredible. That's, <laughs> that's mind blowing. Would, he doesn't normally he doesn't even make appearances. No, 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 no. And yeah, no. he was actually here. I mean he actually signed his uh, copies too. Wow. <laughs> Servus. <laughs> the the Servus uh, story right here. We have Strange Servus, number uh, of course number one. It's all yes. that uh, special. We okay. have Barbark. Number one, and of course, we do have Arbor Comics. Number one. They're all backwards. For those of us, okay, we have a customer now in the store. Yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, um, I'm gonna take a look at this. Like Here we go. For those, for those of us, look at that. For those who don't know, been working. I was working with Dave Sim for the last, on and off, for the last like. 10 years okay, so we did a, uh, okay. a mini series zero to zero one two three and four uh that came out um early this year yes and then we kept on doing these so we're now going to have these different number one titles coming out uh, i guess the first one was august i think yeah august august september this is august september october and there's another five i think that are done uh, and we'll be out. Um, I mean, you could get them, well, you can order them from your local comic book store, but if they don't have them, you can come down to Studio Comics at 385 Frederick and get your get your awesome service comics. Uh, so these are four panel. These are four panel. So if you've read Cerebus, then you know that, uh, no, you know, spoiler alert, he died in the last issue, that's it. So then we came up with this Basically, a comedy uh, uh, comic sort of thing where Cerebus dies and goes to hell. So we took Gustav Dory's uh, prints from the uh, um, the uh, Divine Comedy uh, and basically inserted uh, Cerebus into them, threw in some word balloons, and that's that. So yeah, there's funny ones. Uh, yeah, funny books. So the, yeah, and like you said, here on the back we've got coming up. Let's see. So the Cerebus, Cerebus to Hell, number zero, one, two, three, and four. Number zero already sold out, um, but that was the miniseries. And now coming up, we're going to have, uh, like I said, so Bat Bark number one was August. Um, Aardvark Comics number one was September. Strange Cerebus number one was October. Uh, we've still got, 
Oh, so the so the next one is the death of Cerebus in Hell, and oh geez, you know there was there was a Watch Bark one, and other comedy. So so all of the covers are basically parodies of well-known comic books, and then inside we've got uh, twenty comics. I think it's basically sixteen of them are ones that were only appeared online, have never been printed before, and then four new ones in each issue. Um, so yeah, those were and those are written by. My, there's, it's basically fifty-fifty. Half of those are written by me, and half of those were written by Dave Sim. So those will be coming out uh, for up until I think probably May. They're already done. So yeah, you can either order them from your comic book store or you can get them here at uh, Studio Comics. Let's see what else? I think that's all the ones that we have. Right? Those. Are, oh, wait, hang on, one more. We also have, read it backwards, The Indestructible, first issue. Okay. Uh, and we have uh, these, I don't know if we're going to put these out for sale, but these were also the variant covers of H-E-L-L. -L. Yeah. Grr, don't be afraid, it's only a comic. And one more. Yes. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if we showed this cover of Beaver Dam. Look at that. Yeah. So, as you can tell, we have whole bunch of comics. Let's see. Oh God, there's too many of them. Beaver Dam, H-E-L-L, Rise of the Harvester, one and two. Agent Wild. The Agent Wild variant cover. Reaper Corpse. Reaper Core. The my and oh let's not forget oh yeah. The original H E L L number one. The Beaver Dam variants and my cover of the cover of the week. Maybe of the month, I don't know. H E L L number zero. And Mylar. You know what? I'm gonna take it out so you can see it better. Yeah, look at that. Kind of looks like ROM. Cool. All right. Well, that's it for um, uh, Studio Comics Press. Like you see, we've got lots of new comics coming in. And uh, yeah, so uh, pay us a visit. We're uh, at uh, in the Frederick Mall, uh, 385, 285 Frederick Street, Frederick Street Mall. Uh, yeah, so we've got lots of comics coming in and all the time, and we'll probably we're going to try and do these cat podcast uh, videos as often as possible. Maybe not quite every day, but we'll do our best. Uh, all right. Well, thanks a lot to everyone for watching, and we'll see you soon.